Hello everyone, today I wanted to spend a little bit of time and just kind of go over some runes so you're not making any silly mistakes. You may have grabbed some of these things as you progress in the game, but mainly you're going to be getting your runes from the Secret Sanctum. Now the prized possession that everybody wants is these legendary runes, and you probably won't have any for a little bit there, and investing your rune crystals into the ones that you have, just know that whatever you invest in the rune crystals, you won't be getting those back, there's no resetting like the gear inside of the game or recycling. Once it's leveled up, it's staying there. I still have some epic runes that I use myself, and I do level them up in order to use them because I just don't have enough of these legendaries. But if you notice, you can go and click on the change option, which will allow you to select each individual stat and re-roll it if needed. I would suggest you don't do this with the epic ones and save it for your legendaries. I believe there's 10 different rune classes, but don't hold me to that. But the big one that everybody is after is the Rune of Onslaught. This is one everyone likes to chase after because it's going to give that initial attack percentage increase and it definitely is a good rune to have. Now the thing to know about these legendary runes is once you attach it to a hero, if you want to remove it, it will cost you 200 gems. So up to this point, you're probably switching around back and forth. It makes it a little bit more difficult when you start losing gems every time you want to move it. Besides the Rune of Onslaught, I also like to try to get the Rune of Life and Rune of Defense. The Life one is going to give a hit point percentage and defense, obviously a defense percentage. All three of these seem to be the best in my opinion inside the game, but I kind of just use whatever I have right now to get me by. When using the change option on these runes, it's just going to be like everything else inside the game. The different color is going to be the different rarity. So you want to try to go and re-roll these things into getting yourself a legendary or a red one on it. And if you notice, we can't actually go down to the last one and do it without having special materials. You do need a Red Abyss Stone for this, and supposedly if you go and dismantle a Legendary Rune, that's where you can get one of these. You won't get them from other spots randomly inside the game, but this is going to make it where it's like the best stat inside the game. And if you see my other rune here that's sitting at yellow, don't pick on me. This was just what I got from leveling it up. I didn't re-roll on this one here. I already got picked on this one for why would you go and re-roll your accuracy rune. And this was just something, as I said, I just leveled up to 25. It showed up. But think of this as a shiny Pokemon here, an ultra rare stat to see inside the game. And this is what you're really going after towards the end game. But I just want to make you guys a little more aware of how this actually works inside the game. If you guys want to know how to switch your soul link, your top five heroes around that are pretty much fixed from the beginning, check out this video right up over here. Thanks for watching and remember, I pick my butt.